हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू टूडे इज टॉपिक व्हिच इज ऑन पोस्ट नेटल केयर नाउ दिस इज अ यू नो दिस काइंड ऑफ केस इज अ वेरी डाइसी केस फॉर पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट्स बिकॉज वेरी बेसिक एलिमेंट्री क्वेश्चन एयर कैन बी आस्ड फ्रॉम यू इन अ पोस्ट नेटल केस दिस कैन ऑल्सो बी कैप्ट इन योर यू नो वर्ड राउंड इफ इट ऑल इट्स बींग आज एंड द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट इज द हिस्ट्री because mostly i've seen post graduates getting confused in how to present the case history in a post natal case which is a very big reason for their not making in the uh, dnb practicals just remember that if this post natal case comes to anybody as a short case or a long case you cannot fumble you cannot uh, uh, you know not know how to write down the history so today i'm going to give you a brief uh, you know tutorial as to how to write the history how to speak the history in in what order and uh, how much to speak what should be the language and uh, where to save yourself from the examiner what kind of uh, you know the uh, you know questions can be asked from a postnatal case is also going to be covered by the end of this uh, uh, this session and <clears throat> lots of other questions actually i can ask but uh, you know just because of time time constraint and the you to be just fair with all the other topics if i start you know covering this topic you know in such depth it will be unfair to the other topics so there is a lot to ask but you know i've restricted it to the bare minimum post graduate level questions which can be asked to you and to which you should know plus you you would know how to you know beat about the other questions if at all they are asked so let's begin My patient, Mrs. X, age of twenty-six years, housewife by profession, belonging to the lower middle class, is wife of Mr. Y, who is driver by occupation and a resident of so and so place. Is P one L one today, day two of delivery. Uh, history of presenting the uh, case. She has a uh, patient has delivered a male baby one day back at twelve fifty p.m. with history of forceps delivery due to fetal distress. Weight due to fetal distress. Weighing the baby weight is around three point two kgs. and currently alive and healthy with mother breastfeeding well patient has a foley's catheter in situ and the early urine output is adequate at, a, at around 30 to 40 ml per hour she is taking soft diet and has passed motion once now the antenatal history this one was a spontaneous conception it was a booked pregnancy in this hospital in the first trimester all three trimesters were uneventful patient gives history of regular antenatal visits except for a for a gap of around one and a half months in the six months of pregnancy when she went to her village patient gives history of regular intake of iron and calcium tablets and investigations done were so far normal the pregnancy went on smoothly till the last trimester and which and she was also immunized fully patient gives history of follow up report 6 days uh, sorry patient gives history of following up 6 days back when she was asked to report in case of any pain abdomen decreased fetal movements leaking or bleeding per vaginal she was admitted in labor room on uh, so and so date you can always mention the date with pain abdomen and she delivered a male a healthy male baby on the following day at 1250 pm with with the help of query forceps baby cried immediately after birth it weighed around 3.2 kilograms and is alive healthy on breastfeeds baby was vaccinated on day 